welcome back to my channel. My name's Lizzie. I hope you're doing well out there, staying healthy. I know I'm back to my shitty tablet. My laptop's acting up and I've tried to shoot some videos on it and I just, I need some tweaking. It's not working right. I gotta go take it to the geek squad or something. <laughs> but, um, I wanted to get something out so I'm really sorry for the shitty quality of this video. You can't even see my whole background. Whatever. Um, also, I don't think I can record as long as I normally do on my laptop. So, I'm not going to do a pick a pile. This is just a Twin Flame Energy check-in. Um, for the collective, we'll see where you are. <laughs> I'm going to do your thoughts and feelings and your Twin Flame's thoughts and feelings. And try to get the skinny on what's going on between the two of you. So... Let's look at what you're feeling about the Twin Flame situation right now. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> it's getting juicy right off the bat. Okay, let's get your person. Guys, I finished week one of my diet. I think I lost a couple pounds, but I'm not measuring myself on the scale because I feel like it's negative. And my neighbor and I are going to start working out every day at five. So I'm going to do my workouts, then I'm going to walk Daisy, and then I'm going to go for a walk run until we can run <laughs> without stopping. Because it's been a while for both of us. At least I have somebody to diet with even if it's just at five o'clock at night and I gotta do the other stuff for myself but that's cool we're gonna diet together because we we both put on weight in quarantine <laughs> for sure at least I know I have all right next we're gonna do some astrology for you And astrology from your person. I just got to get rid of my baby gut and I'll be happy. <laughs> I want to be back into my size 5 by June 1st. Pray for me because I'm going to need it. <laughs> I don't need to be my... Two, three, self. I was so miserable and I'm so hungry. I'm not doing that again. Five is good enough for me. I feel like if you're mid thirties and you're size five, you're good. <laughs> All right. Next, we're going to let's see what they're dreaming about and what you're dreaming about. Trying to go fast here. What are you fearing? Ah. Hello. Also, I have tried to film the Megan and Harry question that you're all waiting for, but you know what? I feel like the world's giving them enough tension and I'm just gonna let it roll out <sighs> and not play into it or feed into it even though I get a lot of views <laughs> I just morally they suck my soul out of my body I don't want to deal with it I just don't <laughs> like I said they're just very toxic I don't know if they're toxic as people in general but they're unleashing a lot of toxicity on this world. I can't tell you how many people have fought over these last few days because of those two. It's like disgusting. 
the world's falling apart as it is and you get everyone riled up and just a bunch of complaining. You know what? If I was left $15 million, that's plenty enough for me to live on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why don't you live like I do? You will fucking really be crying. <laughs> All right. Romance of Oracle. Almost done. I just don't feel bad for people that live in like houses with like 12 bedrooms and 12 or whatever it is and beautiful sunny California. You have food on your table, you're healthy, you're having babies, you're able to have babies. Like, I don't fucking feel bad for you, okay? I don't know why you're feeling bad for yourself. You seem to have everything. I don't get people. I don't understand people. I don't understand this crazy world and what people find important. I'm like, really? <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm like more in spiritual now than I ever was. I'm just looking at people sideways like and all the crazy shit going on in the world. That's what you want to talk about right now? Good lord. <laughs> We're doomed. We're doomed as a species. And they're breeding, which is even worse. <laughs> now you're going to teach your kids to be complainers. And victims too. Like the world don't got enough of those. Just saying, not everybody. You know what I mean. <laughs> All right, let's get into this, and we'll finalize the deck with the last. We'll finalize your reading with my last deck over here. Let's start with your channeled cards. This is your side. I'm trying to manifest you back into my life. So knowingly or not, you're actively trying to manifest this person coming back into your life. But right now, you're a little bit stuck in your ego. You're a little hurt energy. Like, I'm going to do it on my terms. Or I don't need anybody. I got me. I'm fine on my own. <laughs> it's stuck in your ego. But I feel like it has more to do because you're hurt. Ooh, you're visiting them in the 5D. You could be having dream. Oh, my God. My body. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Ugh. I, I've been noticing every reading I do now, like, I get, like, a gurgle in my throat. And I've talked to other mediums, and they say fucked up shit happens to their throat all the time. I don't know if it's, like, spirit trying to talk to us, but it needs to stop it. It's weird. Anyway, ooh, pregnancy soon. If you don't want to get pregnant soon, I would be careful. But if you're looking for it, it's going to happen. Good for you. <laughs> okay. The karmic knows about you. Ooh. So, either their, their karmic knows about you or your karmic knows about your person. Take what resonates to you. What's going on with your person? I want to sleep with you very badly. Woo! We've got a lot of sexual energy for you out there. <laughs> I choose you. So, they choose you over a, a karmic or any other situation. No contact in a long time. So, you haven't communicated to each other. Woo! I think you will use me. For their body, I just heard. They think you just want sex. This is a long distance relationship. I don't feel good enough for you. So they're still in like dark night of the soul. Not feeling worthy of you. Putting you up on a pedestal a little bit. They need some time to heal. I feel like there's some hurt energy on both sides here. For your side, simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Maybe helping other people will help you get out of your funk. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. If you're not feeling good enough, if you're in the lack mentality, or you don't think you're strong enough to deal with this, I beg to differ. Spirit's calling you out. You're stronger than you realize. Everything's going to be fine. Act as if your partner is here. Start planning for your life together like they're, they're on vacation. <laughs> they're coming back soon because I feel like you're going to be taking it to the next level with pregnancy happening. You might be moving in together. Um, you might need to get out of situations yourself. Act like they're already here and plan for your life together because it's happening soon. For your person, 
Ooh, do something for someone. They might be wanting to do something for you or they're in the same boat. Helping other people makes them feel better about their situations. Ooh, no. Express love through gifts. Your person might be wanting to give you a gift. Listen with your heart. They're not trying to listen to your angry words. They're not trying to listen to other people's talk. They're trying to, to get to the heart of the matter. Um, if they feel you're angry at them, they're just trying to get, like, why are you acting this way? Why are you feeling this way? And they're not li listening to bullet bullshit. <laughs> what can I talk? Maybe they're choked up. They're just trying to, like, see the heart of you and where your heart lies and what you really want. They're not trying to get down to the nitty gritty and like be dramatic about things. Let's get into your astrology here. Void of course moon. You're, you're missing this person. You're feeling lost without them. Not complete. North node. Life purpose. You see a great purpose with this person. Not just in love but in life in general. You might want to work with this person. Jupiter returns. <laughs> You see the benefits or you want to be more than friends. Friends with benefits maybe you were in the past. I am getting some, that energy for a small few out there. But I just feel like this person will be a benefit to your life. You're recognizing that. Uranus, you're trying to be smart here, but you're also in that stubborn energy a little bit still. It's all right. I'm a Virgo. I'm very stubborn. <laughs> and I'm very slow moving like a freaking snail. Your person is Mercury. You can't get this person off. They can't get you off their mind. They might be seeing past lives with you as well. Um, Capricorn. You could be in the Capricorn energy. This is devil energy as well. Like the devil card is Capricorn. Just meaning they might have some codependency. Or they just have a lot of sexual energy which they expressed earlier towards you. First house, the body. Yes, <laughs> it. It definitely wants to do naughty things to you. Seventh house. They want to be partners. They want more than sex with you. They want to be partners in life. Married couple. The whole nine yards. The whole shebang. Let's see what you're dreaming about. Ooh, you want the truth. You're seeing. You're dreaming about them coming forward and telling their truth. And you telling their truth. Your truth to them. You're dreaming of you two being in love and having passionate life together. House and buildings, you're dreaming about moving in together, maybe even getting married. What is your person dreaming about you? We have flow. It's like they see a strong friendship, like you guys can get through anything in life. Maybe they're seeing you get past complications you're dealing with now. Ooh, Gaia, nurture. You might both be earth signs or... This person is very connected to the earth, very gifted. They, they could be trying to play with you in the 5D as well, visiting you. They might be thinking about moving towards you here. Or they're taking a physical journey in the 5D to you. Let's get this. What's going on with you right now? Glass ceiling. Oppressive, constraining, unequal. Your path is obscured by mansplaining and deep-rooted biases. Will you accept the limitations others have unjustly set for you or break down the doors that bar you from your pursuit of happiness? It's like you're explaining to yourself why um, you don't you're in that stubborn energy, but you've created it for yourself. Also, there's a lot of constraining and on you don't feel like this person is putting the energy in that you are. It's like the world has put a glass ceiling over you and you're going to have to break that glass ceiling to get your person, but you're not willing to break it just yet, if that makes sense. The urban farmer, educated, impactful, green, sustainable. Your mind is fertile with progressive ideas. You see a world that needs helping and a path to fix it. Will you help others grow a patch of progress or let pess pessimism rot the fruit of your labor to nothing but compost? So your person is having a lot of ideas, um, progressive ideas on how you two can come together, on how they can help the world and help you. They're getting a lot of ideas. They're very in their head about you at this time. Let's look at your fears over here. Bride in a cage. You're feeling very stuck. You got stuck energy. 
I don't know if you're in like a karmic situation or you're you're stuck in yourself, stuck in your own head, but you're feeling trapped. You're not putting the energy in, like you're in between that stubborn energy where you're like, no, I don't want to get hurt, I'm pulling back, but yes, I want this at the same time. I'm curious. So you're, it's fragmented because one day you're in, the next day you're not. Atonement, you're feeling like this person might hurt you or that it's going to be a huge burden and you're scared. You're scared of it being a, a big burden. What is your person fearing? Downcast pride. They're fearing that their stubbornness and hurt energy is going to stop them from coming towards you or, or put a block in between you. They're feeling like they're going to have to sacrifice a lot of things. Whether it's person, places, they could have to move, they're referencing, they could have to leave other people. Um, I heard give up their freedom in some sense. I'm not sure what that means to you, but they have to make some sacrifices here. And I feel like they're just scared of something new. They're scared of a new start, leaving their comfort zone. They're afraid you're going to leave them alone. Like once you have, like they're, they're scared that you just want them for sex. So they're scared that they're going to go make all these sacrifices and give you their body. And then you're just going to be like, I'm done now. Bye. And they're going to be left alone. That's a big fear for them. Oh, very soon you're going to be reaching out to this person or you're going to be getting the answers you need. But you have some codependencies you need to break from. On your side of it. For them, they want to make the effort. They want to start putting effort into this connection. They're very attracted to you. A lot of sexual energy. But right now they're trying to love themselves first. Trying to balance out that fear that they have. For you, we have House of Cards. You want to take a chance, a risk. But you're trying to be smart. You're not showing your hands. You're not showing your feelings. Uh, you're self-sabotaging here. Being stuck in your own head. But you want to work on it as well. Like you're stopping yourself, but you want to also put the work in. You're letting fear get the better of you basically you see this person as your happiness like your one true love which is cute and perfect for a twin flame your person really likes you a lot not that they just like your body they like your mind they like how you operate your ambitions the golden mirror this person's a little self-absorbed right now but they it's because they feel like it's a one sided relationship that you don't feel it back but you are mirroring each other you both have a lot of fear here you're both hesitant you're very loyal to this person you want to be loyal to them you see a past life connection and a spiritual connection with this person it's kind of like you've been hibernating now you've been in your collecting for the winner keeping to yourself and and not coming out yet your person also feels like this is a holy union, um, something that they're meant to do, a life purpose. They want to hold it down. They want to be solid for you. They want a solid commitment from you as well. This is somebody who's given it up to the divine and saying, if it's meant to be, it'll be. They're not trying to rush it. They're not trying to um, control or persuade um, they feel like divine timing is at play and everything happens when it's meant to. We're going to close out your reading with a full spread from the Awakened Soul. I already shuffled the stable a little time. What's going on with you, the viewer? Let's start there. What's going on with you, the viewer? And then we'll do your person next. You've been dreaming a lot about this person. Daydreaming and dreaming about them at night. About your life together. About what you want. Also seeing past lives here. You want to go on this new adventure. You feel like life would be an adventure with them. But you're definitely recognizing you're going to have to give things up. And just go for it. Um, you might be in a long distance far apart relationship. You're thinking about moving towards them. You're, you're trying to 
you're trying to stick with it you're trying to see this out to the end because you feel it's important so you're gaining that courage that strength you need you're also surrendering to the divine but there's a bigger purpose at play here you you see a deep impactful purpose with this person you're trying to change your perspective and not get upset it's like you're trying to see the beauty and the magic in it and um, the spirituality in it. You're not just focusing on bullshit. You're trying to ground yourself, trying to study yourself, working on yourself, balancing yourself and your fears. You're trying to keep it simple. You're not trying to complicate it too much because I feel like you stress yourself out and psych yourself up. So you're trying to like meditate and mellow out and just be simple about it. You definitely see uh, wisdom with this person, past lives. This person to you has an old soul, and you're very connected to that. Let's give this a shuffle and see what's going on with your person. What's going on with your person right now? <laughs> take action or they want action from you they're planning on taking some action and hoping you're going to come through with some action they have judgment in reverse they're not trying to judge you and they don't want you to judge them they're just trying to keep the negativity away from them and creating that safe space to really calm themselves and do their own work they're focusing on staying in a positive environment i feel like you stress them out a little bit but they do see you as a treasure, as someone special, their pearl. They are devoted to you. They are devoted to this connection, whether they're saying so or showing it or not. But right now they're working on their healing. There's some healing work that needs to do in this connection and within themselves. They're trying to take leadership. I feel like they're trying to work on their career or work on some creative endeavor. And they might be wanting to take leadership in this connection. We have knowledge in reverse. They don't have the answers that they need to move forward. Um, as far as you're concerned, they don't know where you stand. I feel like they're trying to figure that out. And they don't have that sacred knowledge from their inner childhood wounds that were healed. There's some work yet to be done. This person doesn't have the answers they feel um, that they're looking for towards you. They're also trying to change their perspective and look at the beauty of the situation. So, let me give this a shuffle and let's see what your uh, near outcome is. Near future. Near future outcome of this relationship. What's going to be happening. We'll say over the next month. They don't like to go too far ahead. What's going to happen over the next month in your connection? next month which what will be happening with your person and you and this connection beautiful okay so you're both going to be drawing boundaries on um yourself mostly I will not be scared. I will not let fear rule me. But you're also going to be um, drawing boundaries with toxic things and people in your life to create and protect your inner zen. Definitely the queen of swords like energy. Cutting out what doesn't serve. I will not tolerate. This is what I want. This is my worth. Um, not just boundaries with other people, but boundaries with yourself as well. You're going to be having some challenge. It's not going to be easy getting out of situations and relationships that you're currently in. And it's not going to be easy um, preparing for this to come together. You're both going to be going on the adventure, maybe moving forward towards each other with a new perspective here. 
you're going to do that healing work and as far as this relationship you're going to tell each other your truth and how you're feeling and forgiveness is going to be had in the next month i feel like you will be dropping any anger resentments pain between you two in this relationship but i do feel like you're both still going to be in your solitude um maybe not coming towards each other just yet let's see what's the solid please clarify i don't know if it's you two just taking time out for you or Ooh, maybe you are going to be spending some time alone <laughs> sexy time exploring each other keeping it low key anything else we need to know in the near future yeah you're going to be very devoted you're going to make a solid commitment here at least verbally and be giving each other exchange of a gift of some kind. And you're both going to take leadership on this connection. No more dragging your feet. So it looks like it's going to be an intense month for you, but a good one. A lot's going to happen. It might feel a little overwhelming at first, but stick with it because it's the good kind of overwhelming. If this resonated and you want more readings like this, or if you want to have access to all my videos hit the subscribe button and the bell so you know exactly when i post stuff thumbs up if you like it thank you so much for your time i love and appreciate you all happy sunday everyone Bye.